Hello everyone, I hope you are well. In this video tutorial, I'm going to be talking about composition, composing, doing a um, four tonal plan, as well as lighting, value, and I'm going to be talking about um, color schemes. So um, there's a lot um, that I'm going to try and squeeze in within this demo. But um, this demo um, is definitely for my Ryman students, but also um, for my YouTube students as well. So um, this is just a little bit of a demo to kind of help my Ryman students with their personal, or not their personal, but their self-driven project <laughs> all right you guys so i wanted to talk a little bit about four tonal plans so in class last week we talked about um composition we also watched a demo from um, carolyn peters from carol studios and i will insert uh, carolyn peters um in this video as well so <clears throat> uh Carolyn have two videos that talks about um, why thumbnails are important as well as um, how to compose. So there's just simple, um, simple videos on simple uh, just activities that you can do to help with learning how to compose um, within a composition. Um, so because we've already gone over that, I'm not going to beat a dead horse. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the four tonal plans. So I talked a little bit about the four tonal plans in class last week. And I just wanted to give you guys a visual. <clears throat> and I will definitely talk more about it in class this week as well. So the visual is basically this. This is the four tonal plans that are here. So this was actually made by Andrew Loomis. And um, he thought of, or he basically, his theory was that there are four tonal plans for every composition. Um, if it's a painting, a drawing, um, anything of that nature, normally you will start with the four tonal plans. So um, this is a very interesting idea. There's, um, there's a first plan, a second plan, third, and a fourth. And basically how it is broken up, and this is how I read it to help me get a better understanding of it, I always think of four tones, which you have definitely here. So you'll normally have a white you definitely have black and then you have two grays. You will have a light gray and a dark gray. So these four four tones will be in any type of painting or drawing. Um, contemporary or even um, past artists have dealt with this and have done this. <clears throat> so when we are composing, it's always good to think about your four tonal plans um, because that would definitely help with just setting a tone for your composition um, and you get to see what your composition looks like as a whole in a thumbnail stage uh, when it comes to just getting down some tones before you even get down your light logic and your values. Um, so I'm going to talk just a little bit more about it, or at least you'll see the process of how this works. All right, you guys. So for homework, uh, you guys were supposed to do 20 thumbnails for your project. So I have about three. So do not, do not get this confused. Um, you you are supposed to do 20. I did three for the sake of the demo. So our demo does not become a week long or a movie long. So I have three thumbnails that are here that I decided to do. So out of these three thumbnails, I decided to pick this one, as you can see. And normally what I do is in my sketchbook, I'll draw out my thumbnails. So as you can see, this is actually a copy from my sketchbook. So I just made copies. <clears throat> I normally make copies because um, that way I don't have to keep redrawing and redrawing and drawing. So I would suggest make copies of your thumbnails. Um, it would definitely save you some time and also help you. And if you're good with tech, you can always scan in your thumbnails and use Photoshop. Um, and kind of get your, your four tonal plans from there if you feel more comfortable with that. But I'm working very traditionally with mine. Because <laughs> it just makes more sense to me that way. <clears throat> All right, you guys. So I have my three 
um, thumbnails that are here. I decided to pick this as my thumbnail. Um, this is a copy of it, so I photocopied it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my four um, thumbnails because I want to think about my four tonal plans. So I'm going to start with my first one. So normally <clears throat> when you're composing, um, of course you want to start with your ideas and get your thumbnails down linearly. Um, then you want to come in with four tonal plans. And then I'm going to work on light logic and getting some value distribution. And then I'm going to come in with some simple color schemes. So I'm going to start with this first. So one thing that I am going to do... Um, is I'm going to do a time lapse of this so that way the demo is not further along than what it should be. But I'm going to do the four different tonal plans. So once again, I like to start in the background because it's easier. Starting with a white background, I know that I'm using black, I'm using gray, and I'm using um, dark gray. Then my second one, I'm going to start with a light gray background. And then I know that I'm going to use white, I'm going to use black, I'm going to use dark gray, so on and so forth. For the next one, I'm going to start with a gray background, and I'm going to use white, I'm going to use black, and I'm going to use light gray. Then the last one, I'm going to start with a black background, and then I'm going to use uh, dark gray, light gray, and white. So this is what I'm going to translate to my thumbnail. All right, you guys, I am using a... Um, carpenter's pencil i actually like these pencils for doing thumbnail sketches like this because they get fairly dark and get fairly light and because it's flat i can move fairly quickly with these so i'm using a carpenter's pencil any pencil will work um if you want to use a pencil <clears throat> all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and get started my four tonal plans so <clears throat> um when you are looking at this you're able to see that i started with one that has the white background mine has a white background then i have my black as well as my dark gray and i have some of my light grays that are in the front um then i have my gray background with some of my darks that are around in my dark gray um as well as my white in the foreground i also have my uh dark gray background when i have my whites um in the back as well as i have my grays light grays in the foreground um as well as you can see i have my black background i have some of my light grays that are around as well as my white is in the foreground um so these are the four different tonal plans 
And um, basically, you want to have, I say for me, for my demo, I think you guys have a different uh, way of doing it, but I did four, and the point of doing four is just to see how will my composition look with just four tones um, as a whole, and then I'm able to choose one that um, makes sense to me and that I like the most. So <clears throat> it's kind of hard because the more I look at it, I'll actually like this one. <laughs> and then um, I kind of like this one. So I'm going to del delete the ones or take out the ones that I don't like. I don't like that one. And It's something about these two, which are the two opposites, <laughs> that I like. So I definitely like these two. So I have to pick between these two so I can do my value studies. <laughs> hmm. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. This is so hard. Because <laughs> I actually like both of them. Um... <laughs> I think I'm going to go with, um, uh, I'll go with this one, although I do like this. I like that dark background. It's just so nice. Um, but I think I'll go with this one. So, out of the four, I decided to choose this one. Um, this is the one that I'm going to go with. And so I'm going with the first tonal plan uh, with the white background. And then I have my darker values that are pushed to the foreground. Um, so I do like the, the contrast with this. And that's something, something uh, that you can think of when you're thinking about, okay, how do I use these four tonal plans? So I really, really, truly like this one. I also was looking at this and I kind of was looking at this and I'm like, do I want a little bit more of a darker background and kind of fill in some of these shapes just a little bit more with um a little bit of a darker area in the background just want to kind of see how if I like that huh. it's not bad I kind of like it all right guys so on the next clip I'm going to go over how to do um light logic so basically I'm going to take this I'm going to move my light around with this um, and get an idea of what um, I will like when it comes to my light logic and um, what makes sense to the whole composition um, from there so I'll see you in the next clip you guys All right, you guys, so I am back in this next clip. So remember in the first clip, um, first thing I did is I started with my linear thumbnails. So there was just thumbnails that had my ideas down, just using lines. Um, then I came in with the four tonal plan. Then I actually um, picked this one <laughs> out of my four tonal plan, which is the first plan. Um, and then I added a little bit of light gray to it and I was like I wanted to see how it would look if I isolate um just this white area in the background and I actually really like what's happening here um I still like this one so I decided okay I'll just do my um light logic distribution and also my value distribution with on both of them <clears throat> So now we had step one, which was the linear uh, thumbnails. Step two, getting our four tonal plans down. Now it's step three, which is we're going to work on light logic and value distribution. So get rid of that. All right, you guys. I also need to get um, a pen. So give me a second um, so I can get some pens out. Alright guys, 
So um, I decided to get just a little bit of some micro micron pins out. I don't know if I'm going to use all of these, but they're there, and I'm happy for that. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to get my light logic down. So I'm going to put this one to the side because I don't really need it right now. Um, and this is what I'm going to do with. So normally when you're thinking about your light logic, you're thinking about where is your light coming from so because I'm only doing two and you guys I think you guys are going to do multiples um I kind of know which lighting that I want to deal with so your lighting you guys can come from this angle or it can darken this so you guys can see it it could come from that angle it could come from this angle it could come from this angle this angle or this angle, this angle, <laughs> or from the sides. Your light can come from any angle that you want it to come from. And as you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight different angles <laughs> that it can come from. I'm only going to deal with probably two. So I'm probably going to do um, the 45 degree angle that's here. 45 that's there um i typically lean towards those but if i wanted to do a side angle i could as well or a top angle i could as well but i think i'm just gonna go with um with this angle that's here i actually do like those so i'm gonna start with um I'm going to start with this angle here. So I'm going to use uh, my pencil right now just to kind of map out some shadow edges and things. And then I'll probably come in with my pen. Um, but I do want you to pay attention and just watch how I'm going about doing it. So if I start with this angle first, I need to make sure that my light is hitting here. And I need to think about uh, what it is casting on if it's going to hit this way. So I'm going to probably start with the figure first. And I probably will um, fast forward through this or do a time lapse of it. guys <clears throat> so now I have I had my tonal plans down which I went with the white one now I have some light logic so I have a light coming from this direction a light coming from this direction I'm trying to figure out which one I like the best I know here I decided maybe I have a more three-dimensional uh, sphere that's there and then here I decided to make it more just a full flat shape and I actually like this as a flat shape versus trying to give it a little bit more of a 3d effect hmm so I'm trying to figure out which one I like so I can get started on my uh, color schemes. Uh, so once again, we we did our thumbnails with a linear thumbnail where we just used line. We picked one of the ones that I like the favorite. <laughs> um, then 
I took that and I did my four tonal plans on it, which was the ton four tonal plans. I picked one four tonal plan that I liked, and it was the white one. Um, then I came in and I figured out um, my light. So it was one of the whole idea of I can have light coming from different directions. I picked these two because those are the ones that I really like. But you guys are going to do multiple for your homework assignment, so you might have more than just one. Um, another thing, you guys, um, get very familiar with a photocopier because when you're doing these um photocopy 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 that's that way you're not um drawing things over and over again or rendering things over and over again at a small scale um you just want to make sure that you um use a photocopier as much as possible um to copy your ideas down so trying to think which one do I like like I like this lighting I kind of like this background I think I don't like this <laughs> I don't like this I think I like it better flattened um I think that would make a little bit more sense I think this one has a little bit more interesting shapes that are happening this one is a little bit more simplified so I think I'm gonna go with this one but I'm going to um when I get into my colors, I'm not going to do, I'm going to do this flat, just a flat color. So this is the one that I'm going to choose. And then next, I'm going to do um, my color scheme. So I will see you guys in the next clip. Bye, guys. Alright guys, so I am back and in this clip I'm going to talk about color schemes. So in class, you guys, I'm going to go more into depth on color schemes um, on the demo for demo's sake. Um, I'm going to briefly talk about them as well as I'm going to do one thumbnail. You guys are going to do multiple color scheme thumbnails, but um, I'm just going to do one. That way this demo isn't longer than what it should be. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I have my trusty color wheel. Dun, dun, dun. Um, the cool thing about this color wheel is not only does it talk about color, Color. It gives you a bit on um, tint shades <clears throat> as well as tone. Uh, it talks about hues. It also talks about um, temperature, warms and cools. Um, but the one thing that's a little bit different on this color world than most is it talks about color schemes. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, so it talks about color schemes and that's the one thing that I love. It doesn't talk about all of them. There's multiple colors, color schemes out there, and I'm going to give you more in, in my lecture. But um, for the demo sake, I'm just going to talk about the ones that is on this color wheel. Um, so we got um, complementary colors, which are basically colors that are on the opposite end of each other. <clears throat> we also have split complementary, uh, meaning that this is a complement that's here. Split complement, you have the complement that's split from one end to the other. Um, then you have um, triad, which um, triad is basically it's split into three. So you can see this triangle here. Um, so it has a... <laughs> A more white and split than our split complementary. Then you have monochromatic, which is you're just using one single color and you're using its tints um, and shades, possibly tones if you need to. <clears throat> And then you have um, analogous, which analogous is normally about three colors right next to each other or possibly five on a color wheel. Um, then you have analogous um, complementary, which of course is you have your three colors and probably one of the complements. Um, that's going to be your um, <clears throat> your analogous complementary colors. So um, the one cool thing about this is that this color wheel just kind of gives you a little bit extra than normal. So, I'm going to choose for my piece, I'm going to choose um, the comp... I'm actually, I decided to choose um, split complementary. So, I'm going to do split complementary. I'm going to do um, violet red and green and yellow, green yellow that's here. Um, so, that's the... That's the, the the color scheme that I'm going to go for. So I'm going to put this up over here. 
that way is in front. Um, so when it comes to color schemes, you guys, once again, you're going to be doing uh, multiple color schemes. I'm just doing one just for um, the sake of the demo. So don't get confused and say, oh, well, you did one. <laughs> um, I did one for the demo just so you guys can see what you need to do. Um, but you will probably do more than just one. Just let you know. So let me go ahead and get started. <clears throat> So you guys, just really quick before um, I really get into this, the first thing I'm going to do with these colors is I'm going to um, <clears throat> get in my local colors. So I have local values that are here already established. I'm going to get down my local colors. So I need to make sure that my color is the matching um, my local value, so local color, local value. That's what I'm trying to get in as of right now with my color pencils. And that's another thing with your color, um, color studies, basically, you guys. You can use color pencils, you can use, um, thinned out paint, like watercolor or thinned out acrylic paint. I decided to go with color pencils because I was just trying to think of things that you guys possibly may already have that you can use, um, for these color studies. So as you can see, it is quite Christmassy, <laughs> but you get an idea of um, how you can go from a linear drawing. So I'm going to get all of my process down. So as you can see, I went from a linear drawing, just trying to get my ideas out. I went with this idea. Now that I have this idea, then I took it and I was like, okay, well, let me get four tonal plans down. So I went in and I got some tonal plans down. Um, that's here. From there, I decided to pick a tonal plan. I ended up going with two uh, tonal plans and then I decided to do two um, value uh, distribution as well as um, light distribution, like logic distribution. So... I figured out where my lighting was going to be on one side and on the other. And then I looked at it and I was like, okay, which one do I really like? I ended up going with this one. So I use this one to get to my color study, which is here. And the colors that I decided to pick were 
um, split complementary colors, which are very Christmassy colors. <laughs> I don't think I was going for that, but it's actually quite cool because we are going into the seasons right now because we're in November. So it's actually interesting to see how you can go from here to color. And then now, like once I have this, I, I can say, okay, I have a pretty decent reference that I like um, that I can use for when I start my project. So when I start my project, I would definitely have this little thumbnail nail near me <clears throat> and then of course I would go in and I would get a better idea for rendering of the face um, also the neck to get more things to look more realistic um, but this is a good little study to start from because I have all of my ideas just down ahead of time and this is what thumbnails are about um, doing a linear thumbnail doing a um, a four plan uh, tonal thumbnails, your value and light logic thumbnails, as well as a color thumbnail, because I kind of at least have an idea at a small scale of what I want my my project to be ahead of time. So this is actually really cool. Like this could definitely be a little elf or something <laughs> for Christmas. I don't know if I would do it, but um, it's a really good idea and a good idea for demos as well. So you guys, I hope Hope, hope, hope this helps you. Um, uh, that's what this is about. Um, getting an idea in full of how to utilize composition, utilize these thumbnails to our best advantage, and get an idea of what we want to get down before we even get it down. You never really want to start a project and you have no idea where you're going. Um, thumbnails are there to help you at a small scale. Where you kind of can at least get an idea of where you're going. And just in case, your thumbnail may not end up looking exactly like this um, for your actual project. But <clears throat> it's at least a start. I at least know where I'm going um, when it comes to doing my actual project. So, um, once again, you guys, when it comes to this project, you can do something totally imaginative. Like, this is imaginative. Or you can do um, a still life Something that you can do from observation, um, that's what the still lives are for. You can combine uh, imagination and still life. You can do a portrait, um, and you can do, let's say, an imaginative background or something. <laughs> you can do um, landscape. You can do cityscape. You know, this is your project, and um, you want to have a voice, and you want to use it properly. So... Once again, I hope this helps and I will see you guys in the next demo or tutorial. Bye, you guys.